What's up, Brian Tong here, and welcome to the Apple Buy for everything good and bad inside the world of Apple. Let's get to the show, and the Big A has officially sent out their colorful invitation for their October 22nd event in San Francisco with the headline, we still have a lot to cover. Seriously, Apple, do you have to make it that easy for us? Look, I'm pretty smart, and it's real obvious they're going to announce a whole new bunch of Apple cases. Get it? Lot to cover? Or it could be iPads, new Macs, and OS X Mavericks, but I'll let you guys decide. Now, French website MacG claims to have had the release dates for the new hardware we expect to see. They say we'll see the new MacBook Pros available on October the 24th or 25th, the iPad 5 and iPad Mini 2 on October the 30th or 31st, and the new Mac Pro on November the 15th. But based on what we know and all the leaks we've heard and seen, what can we expect? Well, the iPad 5 is expected to bring an all-new design similar to the iPad Mini's beveled edges, the new A7 chip that's in the iPhone 5S, and an improved 8-megapixel camera, and there's still no confirmation about Touch ID integration. Now, the iPad Mini 2 is expected to bring a Retina display, finally, but there are rumblings that a version without one have also been tested, possibly as an entry-level model, according to 9to5Mac, and a variant of the A7 chip will be used as well. Now, according to Mako Takara, the Retina Display Mini might even end up slightly thicker to accommodate the new display. Now, with the new MacBook Pros, they're expected to bring Intel's Haswell processors and give it a huge boost in battery life that almost doubled for the MacBook Air line, and a front-facing camera could be upgraded to 1080p, but we don't expect to see a new body design. We've also seen pretty much all the new beefy hardware for the new Mac Pros, and it's the entry-level price point and specs that we're waiting to see. So that's a lot of stuff already, but we have to imagine a release date for OS X Mavericks will be the icing on the cake. Ooh. Now, Apple has already released the final Gold Master release of OS X Mavericks to developers and has started asking developers to submit their apps optimized for Mavericks, so we're getting real, real close for a final release date. Now, in iPhone news, Apple has kept mum on the sales of the latest iPhones, but that didn't stop Localytics, who used iPhone connections to mobile and web apps, and estimates a 3 to 1 ratio in favor of the iPhone 5S over the 5C. Now, the Wall Street Journal then followed up with a recent story that Apple is reducing its component orders for the iPhone 5C by a third, and they're curtailing iPhone 5C production. They also report Apple has raised orders for the 5S, you know, the phone with new technology in it. All right, let's check out our app of the week. This week, it's an app for your Mac called Control Plus. It's real slick, and think of it as Control Center for your Mac. It's a sweet, fun utility that appears on your menu bar, and you can change your display to do things like adjusting your brightness or setting your wallpaper easily. You can also control iTunes or even set a timer. It's 99 cents for the first couple of days and $4.99 after that, but it's an app we're checking out that has a really slick and useful interface. All right, guys, on to the quick fights. It looks like some iPhone 5S users are suffering from the blue screen of death. Reports from forums say it happens to people using the Numbers app in Apple's iWork suite, and some have said it happens with ESPN's Score Center as well. Not a good thing, but one possible workaround is to disable iCloud syncing with iWork for now, but there hasn't been a fix issued yet. Also, Apple's search for a new VP of retail is over with the hiring of Angela Arntz, who was the CEO of fashion retailer Burberry. And I think I have a pretty good idea what the next Apple store is going to look like now. All right, and before we go, we wanted to hook you guys, the Apple Biters, up with another killer giveaway. Thanks to my friends at Mophie. Check it out. We have five Mophie Juice Pack Heliums, which are their slimmer iPhone 5 and 5S battery packs that give you 80% more juice for your phone. So all you guys have to do is tell me why you deserve one of these cases or what you'd be willing to do to win one. Send us your responses to the Apple Bite at CNET.com or tweet me at Brian Tong, and I'll pick my favorites. All right, that's going to do it for this week's show. We'll find out everything that Apple reveals next week, so come back to find out what we think. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys next time for another Bite of the Apple.